Yes, today we are going to cook uh, tandoori chicken with a slight goan flavor. Let's start with the ingredients and let's make it real quick. So for tandoori chicken we have the leg pieces which uh, for which we have removed the skin and what we have done is we have put a slight cut, a deep cut using the knife and before starting the main thing is creating the tandoori masala and putting it for marinating for an hour, at least an hour so that it will the chicken will get the masala flavor so let's see what we have here for creating the masala so we we need ginger garlic paste some tamarind sauce chili powder turmeric powder this is garam masala this is one of the most commonly used masalas in indian kitchen and you can find it in any of the indian stores and some yogurt and of course some salt so let's start. So we put uh, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, a few drops of tamarind, some chili. Masala. This has got all the spices, the cloves, the cardamom, and all the most of the Indian spices. So we really give the kind of flavor what chicken needs. So this is kind of a paste which you will get because of the yogurt and it will be slightly radish in color. Mix it properly so all the flavors are all over the place. Okay, so our masala is ready. I'll just clean the chicken. Apply the paste. Just spread it all over. With your hand, just try to put the masala in those deep cuts which we had. Make sure that it's all over the place and cover most of the chicken leg. Now you have the chicken well marinated and uh, it's better to keep it at least for an hour so when the chicken takes out the flavor. Uh, the, more the, the more the more hours you keep it, it's better for the taste. So we're going to just keep it for an hour and then start uh, the further process of how to deep fry it. Yeah. Okay, so we have this chicken which is marinated. Uh, We're going to put it in the microwave for around uh, five minutes so that it cooks properly before uh, putting on putting it on stir fry. Right? Okay, so. 
so let's keep it for five minutes and so what i've done is i've put some oil oil drops on it so that it cooks properly okay so now we have the chicken micro a bit for five minutes and going to look like this so it's cooked for around five minutes now what you're going to do is um, put some oil on a hot pan and fry it in the pan we put in some oil The oil is all over the place. Okay, let it let it heat for some time, and then we are going to put the chicken on the hot oil. Um, we have to have butter taken out so that at the end of the fry, we have to put some butter so it brings out the taste. The, the pan is hot. Now we have the chicken being fried. Uh, make sure that it has got this brownish color and uh, keep, keep uh, turning it after every 5 minutes and make sure that you have covered it with the lid so that it cooks properly. Meanwhile, we'll uh, just cut some onions for, uh, for dressing and some lime too. You can use uh, you can use the tissue to you know uh, remove the extra oil if you want. Just put some butter on it. The butter will melt after some time. You can either spread it like this or just keep it on top of it. Have some coriander. With some onion and lime here's your chicken fried ready this is for two hope you enjoy the meal thank you